most of our immune cells are in our intestines and our gut microbiome is the communicator between the food we eat and the function of the immune system. To have a healthy immune system, you have to have the healthiest gut microbiome community. There are probably five key ways of doing that. The first one is to increase the diversity of plants that you eat so that you encourage lots of other species of microbes to flourish and grow. We think the sweet spot based on our research is about 30 plants a week. The second tip is to try and eat the rainbow so you are getting different colored foods in your diet because that signals that they contain these defense chemicals, more commonly called polyphenols, which our microbes use as fuel. Some recent studies showing that if you intensively give people four or five portions of fermented food a day just in two weeks, they can really significantly uh, reduce inflammation and change the immune function of their cells and their body. All fermented foods seem to be good. Obviously, yogurt and cheese, kefir, kombucha, kraut, and kimchi. A good overnight fast is shown to improve your metabolism. Different teams and species of microbes come out at night when you're not eating, and they tidy up your uh, gut wall, which helps both the immune system and your gut microbes. At least 12 hours, ideally 14 hours, when you're not eating or drinking anything other than water, coffee, or black tea are good for you. Finally, avoiding as much as possible ultra-processed foods because of the uh, harmful chemicals that interact with your gut microbes and uh, cause them to secrete chemicals that we believe are pro-inflammatory and likely to be bad for you and your immune system. So they're the five.